Hey, welcome back to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. It's getting close to Halloween, and Steve's got a good, scary movie for us this time. Let's go check it out. Well, hello, Troll. Why don't you come in? It's Halloween. I'll have something really special for you. Good evening. Johnny! Happy Halloween. I decided for Halloween this year to do a Hitchcock classic, 1963's The Birds, starring Rod Taylor, Jessica Tandy, Suzanne Plachette, and Tippi Hedren. Now, this was based on a story by Daphne du Maurier that Hitchcock had purchased years before, and he liked the idea, but he didn't really want to use the story, he just wanted the premise of it. He desperately needed two things. He needed a big hit after Psycho. How do you follow up Psycho? He needed a new star to create a new star. He had seen Tippi Hedren in some TV ads and things, and he brought her out, and he fell in love with her. What are you, a policeman? This is the only real monster movie that Hitchcock ever made. Um, he decided that he was going to scare the pants off and the only way was to take something that everybody took for granted and give it a sinister edge. And boy, he did it in spades. The essential story is this. This girl, Melanie Daniels, played by Tippi Hedren, is a sophisticated, kind of a little bit decadent, rich girl. And she falls for this guy uh, who's a lawyer, Mitch, played by Rod Taylor. Um, they kind of have a flirtation in a pet store and uh, he sparks her interest. I said, I wonder if you could help me. Yes, what is it you're looking for, sir? She finds out that he lives in this little town called Bodega Bay down on the coast. So she buys him some lovebirds because she, she overheard that he was buying lovebirds for his sister. And she drives all the way to Bodega Bay. Well, when she gets there, she comes up against his mother, played by Jessica Tandy, who really sort of has an edible thing with her son. Uh, he has sort of taken the place of her husband since he died, and she's very, very afraid of losing him to another woman. Oh, I see. Um, she also meets his former girlfriend, Annie, who's the school, local school teacher, played by Suzanne Plachette who's a wonderful in this movie. She sort of brings a real heart to this movie. She's the other woman and she's got, she's kind of funny and wry, but she's also got a great, great heart to her. You see, I hadn't planned on staying very long. Yes, I know. Did something unexpected come up? Hitchcock takes a long time before the birds actually start. Uh, to make their attacks. The first time is Melanie is going across on a boat. She rents a boat because she wants to leave the lovebirds at the house. And he sees her and he's a, he gets in his car and they're kind of going to meet back at the town. And as she's going towards the dock to meet him, she's sort of playing coy. And out of nowhere, this seagull comes down and whacks her in the head. And she starts to bleed. And as they get in there, they take her into this restaurant, you know, and they're patching her up, and everybody's concerned and talking about it. Should I call a doctor? Oh, I don't think it's that serious. The next thing, she goes to Annie's to stay for a little while because Mitch wants her to stay overnight. And they're talking, and she sort of gets a little bit of background on his relationship with his mother. I spent days trying to figure out exactly what I'd done to displease her. Well, what had you done? Nothing. I simply existed. And there's a clunk on the door. Oh, wonder who that can be. And they go to the door, and in hit, classic Hitchcock style, they open up the door and nothing's there, and they look down and there's a dead seagull. And she, Suzanne Plachette says, oh, the poor thing, she must have, lo must have lost his way in the dark. And, and Melanie says, But it isn't dark, Annie. There's a full moon. Very, very Hitchcock. Then the next day, the little girl has her birthday party. All right, here we go. Out of nowhere, the birds attack, and they attack the kids. Now, for this was the thing that really made this movie, because kids had never been attacked like this. And what Hitchcock did was that he didn't make it pretty at all. These birds come down and they go after them. And they used a lot of live birds. They used crows, they used seagulls, they used sparrow, finches. They just threw every kind of bird. Nobody really wants to believe that these birds are attacking. 
and Jessica Tandy goes to one of the local farmers who's been having trouble with his chickens because she wants to find out why her chickens aren't eating. And when she gets to the house, it's so suspenseful. It's such a classic Hitchcock thing. She goes into the house and there's no answer. Dad, are you home? And suddenly she looks over and where the teacups are hanging, all the teacups are broken. And that's what happened at her house because the birds knocked everything out. She goes down a hallway, she opens up the door. Instead of having her scream, Hitchcock just has Jessica Tandy. She can't scream and she just starts running, running, running and she panics and they go over there and she says but my little girl's at the school do you think she's all right tippy heaven goes to the school to get her it's another classic hitchcock city it's just all about the suspense and not so much the shock she's having a cigarette and you watch gradually these crows are flying on this you know thing that the kids climb on in the back and they keep singing this terrible song called razzledy ruzzledy and they rizzle they rappledy now 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 goes on forever and finally she turns around and she looks and the whole structure is covered with crows she goes into the school and she says to Annie to Suzanne Plachette look outside so they say to the kids let's go outside as soon as we yell run run down that hill as fast as you can well of course the minute the kids start going down the steps the birds hear them and they're in the air and it's one of the most terrifying scenes ever these birds come down and they are packing at those kids. They're after their eyes, they're on their ears. The kids are screaming and turning and he has birds coming down, you know, tied to their clothes and he used puppets. I mean, they used everything imaginable and there was no doubt at all. And this is 1963. There was no doubt at all. Those birds were meant to peck the eyes out of these kids. It was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> And as a kid seeing this myself, you never looked at a bird right again, ever, ever. And we never had, after this, there were no parakeets in my house. There were no canaries. We have some very nice canaries this week. No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Back in your gilded cage, Melanie Daniels. The town still doesn't believe her. And the town says, well, you're ridiculous. And there's this wonderful ex old character actress named Ethel Griffiths, who was in her 80s at the time. Her hobby is birds. And she's lighting cigarettes. And she does this amazing monologue. And as an actress, it's so fabulous. She never misses a beat. She does the whole monologue, lights a cigarette, twice lights it up, talks about the birds. Well, these birds, you know. Let's be logical about this. Different species never get together. Why, if that happened, we wouldn't have a chance. We'd all be killed. And suddenly, bam, they hit the town. That's the way the army uses them. And a seagull flies into this guy who's, who is a gas station attendant, and he falls, and he drops gasoline and everybody's in the window of the restaurant and they're watching the gasoline go across as the birds are flying in and it goes and it goes under a car where a guy's lighting a cigar and at the moment they open up the window and they go don't drop that match he drops the match he bursts into flames and the whole thing is a, is a conflagration it's just huge tippy heaven runs out she gets trapped in a phone booth and the birds are coming at her and there's a wagon coming down they're attacking the horse they're attacking the driver they keep flying in directly into the window you know cracking the window and she is you're, you're so claustrophobic that she can't get out she opens the door part of the bird comes in and it's after like this and she shuts it at one point this guy comes by the birds are all over him there and his eyes are all over him his face is all cut to pieces and he moves on and it's absolutely terrifying <laughs> Hitchcock told her that they were going to be using mechanical birds. So she didn't have anything to worry about. He said, don't worry, I'll take care of you, Tippy. It's all right. We'll have mechanical birds. So the day comes and Tippy Hedren's in her dressing room and the assistant director comes to her and says, I don't know how to tell you this, but they're using real birds with you. And for the next two weeks, they had ropes tied to the birds and they just shot birds at her and live birds at her she was like this it was so dangerous and it was it so upset her that she had a nervous breakdown and they had to put her in the hospital for you know nervous exhaustion for about three weeks
There's never any answers, which is one of the things I love about this movie. There's no explanations as to why this is happening, nor when it's going to happen, nor who they targeted at. And I think that's one of the things that disturbed people so much about this. Whenever I mentioned that I was going to do this movie on Tardo Quinn at the movies, people went, oh my God, I was so scared by that movie. I was so terrified. This movie had the same impact that Jaws would have, you know, 10 or 15 years later when it came on. People just completely freaked with this movie. And Hitchcock really achieved the impossible. He made a, he made a movie that was as good or, you know, memorable as Psycho. Um, unfortunately, after this, his relationship with Tippi Hedren didn't go very well, and he kind of, from Marnie on, his work was not as good, but he was in top form for this one. You are going to have the Halloween time of your life with Rod Taylor, Suzanne Plachette, Jessica Tandy, Veronica Cartwright, and beautiful Tippi Hedren and Alfred Hitchcock's classic, The Birds. Let's all go to the lot. And they decided not to use any music at all, but it was all done with a Moog synth 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 synth